Hello, hello everyone again. Welcome to Signs of Wonders Ministries and uh, my name is Evangelist Mo and um, we started a topic called Discovering Your Identity. Um, the last episode we talked about who we are and um, I talked about questions that have been the focal point of why we act the way we act and um, as a child of God if you've not discovered who you are yet then there's a problem you know the reason why the enemy can bring such certain attacks against your life you know it's because you've not discovered who you are yet and that is what the series is going to do it's going to give you um, evidence in the Bible to basically discover who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. So before even we start, I just want to, you know, um, say a short prayer. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We thank you for this moment, this time that we're going to spend together. And to you alone be the glory. Lord, touch your people's life. Reveal yourself to them. And whoever is struggling with their identity today, Lord, help them to discover who they are in you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, friends, loved ones, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel um, as we are going for a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm just starting now because um, I stopped for a little bit. But anyway, let's dive into the Word of God. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, but today we're going to be talking uh, about why am I here? Why are you alive? Why do you think you are alive at this time, look, we all know a situation that occurred uh, not even long ago, which is the COVID-19. So many people lost their lives. So many people died. We see in the war, the war in Ukraine, we see so many things happening around the world. And some people, they just woke up this morning and the moment they step outside, they died. Some people were not even able to wake up this morning. Why do you think you're supposed to be alive? Why do you think you are alive right now? Do you think it's a mistake that God did to allow you to be alive? No, I don't think so. And I believe this is because there is something that you're supposed to do here on earth. That is why you're still here. So this topic is going to make you to be able to discover, to be able to, you know, have some answers to that question, discovering your identity, why you are here on earth. And today, just like I said, we're going to talk about why am I here? You know, if you read the book, if you can turn your Bible to or you go to your phone and turn to Matthew 5, 13, it says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salt again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Hallelujah. So you see, if you don't know why you are here, if you don't, if you've not discovered your reason, your purpose in life, it is a problem. Who are you at work? Do you think you're just there to go for the nine to five and come back home and sit down, sleep and wake up and do the same thing? No, there is a greater purpose in your life. And this is the thing. You cannot discover that purpose until you go to the one that gave you that purpose, the one that gave you the opportunity to be alive. Hallelujah. You know, let's turn to the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. It said, God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in numbers. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Hallelujah. So this, the Bible is telling us that God has given us the authority to rule over the earth, to rule over situation, to rule over animals, to rule over affairs that are affecting our lives. What are you doing with that authority that God has given you? Why are you still here? That is the question that we're, we're answering right now. Hallelujah. You are supposed to subdue this earth. 
I know things are hard. I know situations are not the same. I know you are facing difficulties in your marriage, in your education, in different aspects, in your health. But there is a reason why you are here. And when you discover that reason, when you discover that purpose, I'm telling you, the enemy will come at you in different ways, but he cannot affect you. Why? Because you know why you are here. You will not be affected by what people say. You will not be affected by what people think. You will not be affected by situations that, that are happening around you. Brothers and sisters, we need to know why we are here. God has created you and me to be caretakers of this world. You know, Miles Monroe said something. He said, the richest place on earth is the graveyard. And I've come to believe that. The reason why I've come to believe that is because most people will never do that which they are meant to do here on earth. Most people will not achieve God's purpose for their life here on earth. Some people are doing something different from what they were called to do. But you know, the moment you discover your purpose here on earth, the moment you know why you're here on earth, everything changes. Hallelujah. So you have to know why you're here. You know, we talked about the different questions and we're just moving to the other one. So if you if not um, listen to the first episode, please go back and listen to it as this is a continuation to um, this topic. Hallelujah. In Romans 8 verse 19, the Bible says, For the creation awaits in eager expectation for the, for the children of God to be revealed. Don't, hallelujah. And I don't let what God has put in you go to waste. Because at the end of the day, he will ask you what he did with the giftings uh, that he has given you. So what is, what is it that you're good at? Some of you are good in speaking. Some of you, you are good in hospitality. Some of you are good in finance. You know, there are some people even in the pulpit, they were not supposed to be in the pulpit. They were supposed to be in the marketplace. They're supposed to be discovering things. They're supposed to be in the hospital. But they're still finding a purpose why they're here on earth. If that is you today, please take a pause. Go to your maker. Ask God why he created you, why you are still alive, why you are not like that person that has gone. There is an assignment for you to fulfill here on earth. There is a purpose that you, there are people that you're supposed to reach here on earth. What are you doing towards that purpose? What are you doing towards that calling? You keep postponing it. You keep saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But you are still not moved yet. You know, it took me a while for me to start doing the YouTube videos again. Because I was just procrastinating. I was like, oh, I'm not having the views that I, 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 I want, I desire. Oh, this is going to be difficult. How am I going to put a phone in, on, in front of my face and start talking? I don't even, you know, I was procrastinating so much. All I needed to do was to take this phone, put it on that stand right there, and then I start talking. But I thought it was something big until I started to do it. You know, it's just like, you know, the, the parable of um, the sower. When Jesus was talking, he said, so one was given, I think, five talents, four talents, and one talent. And the one that was given five, he multiplied to ten. And the other one multiplied it. Then the one that was given to one talent, he never did anything with it. He went and buried it. And what happened? When God came, guess what he did? He took even the one that he gave him and gave it to the other ones. Because guess what? They are being productive. What is it that you need to be productive in doing? I believe God is calling you, my brother. I believe God is calling you, my sister. To wake up, to stand up. Because it is your time, it is your season for you to rise and shine because the light of God has come upon you and his glory 
has risen upon you. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So please, brother, take up that calling and let's go in Jesus' name. Don't forget to subscribe. This is again Sense of Wonders Ministry. We love you. See you next time.